Hi Libras, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and do your February 2020 love reading. Again, this is a love reading for the ones that are not interested in love reading. Just to let you know, I already uploaded the monthly reading, the general monthly reading. So this is strictly for those that are interested in a love reading. Now, this will be regarding the person that you have in mind or that is connecting to you energetically. We will look at how they feel towards you, what action they would like to take towards you, how they view you the challenge that they have right now with you in a relationship or overall the connection. We will see what they love best about you. We will see what they're hoping for in this relationship, what they don't like best about you or the situation. We will see what they would like to confess. Where are you both mutually at? And then we will see the best possible outcome with the current energies. Remember guys, you have free will here and you can change the outcome at any time. All right as usual pretty general there are a few options here how to book a personal reading and that is in the description box below all right for libra sun moon rising and venus february 2020 love reading regarding the person that they're connecting with we have the emperor there this may be for some of you older and aries someone that has you know a control over a certain situation One more. All right, let's see here. Ace of Swords with the Devil. Oh my goodness, with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Definitely, uh, when I look at this, uh, someone wants breakthrough. They are overthinking here. They want communication. They they have a certain ideas here with the Ace of Swords. Uh, an initial but someone is stuck obsessive when i look at this one obsessive here uh, overthinking temptation uh, and the nine of cups of course is very much dreaming wishing here let's see what is going on with their feelings toward libra five of pentacles okay so they feel rejected abandoned uh, they fear rejection left out hmm no wonder they're waiting here for some type of contact. All right. What about the action here? Four of Cups. Okay. So action does not speak here. Any person that is going to take action. The Four of Cups to me is very much someone contemplating here. Wanting to come forward. Not sure again if this cup is going to get offered. I keep thinking that someone may feel very much that you are going to reject them. Or they're not you're not going to be interested here so they're contemplating waiting they're very dissatisfied feeling like the opportunity was missed when it comes to an action how they view you wow this is this is totally different here from all the other readings i have to tell you libra guarded very guarded exhausted you are resilient, but I feel like this person feels that uh, when it comes to that, they, they feel, again, I don't think they're welcomed or they feel like something, it's, it's like you're not interested. I, I They view you as a very much defensive, guarded uh, person. Again, there's that resilience there, but um, they don't they don't think that you are still interested. Let's see how it goes. What's the challenge here? Three of Cups. Is it because other people, it's a third party situation for some of you, but the Three of Cups always, we are talking also that someone needs to reconcile. Because I'm looking at, they feel left out again and going with this being in the challenge position. For some of you, definitely there's another person involved. And uh, for some of you, someone feels like there's no an opportunity for reconciliation here. What they love best about you, lovers. So very much they have this magnetic pull. With the lovers, uh, as I mentioned, it's not like the two of cups here. They're right away. Two people don't have any obstacles. They connect here very, uh, very much. So lovers is a decision, a big decision, Gemini energy. Uh, we are talking mind uh, and uh, heart decision here. But this is what they love best about you. So they feel like you are mirroring them. They feel like very much you are, uh, for, for those that like to label it as a twin flame. Again, there's a choice with consequences here, but very much they are magnetically here pulled towards you. 
All right, so what are they hoping for? To get out of the cold? Hermit mode, whoever has gone to hermit mode here. Introspection. Virgo energy. That's what they're hoping for. Hmm. I want to see when I clarify the cards here. What they don't like best about you. Okay, you walked away. You, uh, the Eight of Cups. Remember, there was a wish fulfillment there. This is walking away, but for the reason that there's something better here. I, I don't want to uh, stay in, into this state of codependency or, you know, dreaming here. I decided what I want to go, which way to go. So I feel like, again, if you have walked away and they feel left out, they missed that calling, that opportunity. That's what they don't like. You have turned your back here. What they would like to confess. King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is coming here. He came for Capricorn. He came for Virgo. And now for you, Libra. Who? This may be you or the other person, of course, a court card. But we are talking about someone here, uh, an earth sign. Or again, this person is very much about security. They need to know here that uh, they have home, health, uh, very practical energy, money, financial gains. Again, it, it may be as simple as the King of Pentacles. This is what I would like to confess. This is how I feel. I want to say it's me. We will see. All right. So both of you are having the High Priestess mutually, uh, mutually uh, energy here. Both of you are going through this intuition, connecting here telepathically very much with this. So both of you feel one another, but why do they feel like that you, you have left them out? You are not interested. When in reality, with a high priestess, I feel very much that you know what's going on and you're both connecting. You're both mirroring one another. Ooh, okay. The best possible outcome is the five of swords. This is not good. I'm getting five of pentacles here and then the five of swords as the best possible outcome. This can be very much, it is a Venus in Aquarius energy, but we are talking about defeat. We are talking here about guilt. We are talking about mind games for some of you. What do I need to do here? So going back and forth, hidden agendas. It can be a little bit provocation, dropping hints here, but just not wanting, you know, the other person fully to know what's going on. Hmm. All right. We will clarify. We will clarify. I think this is the only sword except this one. Someone wants victory. Again, I feel like very much overthinking here. Obsessively. Wanting some type of hints. I keep getting like I want a hint here with, with these two. All right, let's clarify the cards for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The person that they have in mind. I keep getting they're not happy at all. Whatever the situation is, for the ones that are not talking, they're very dissatisfied. That's, that's what I, I'm, I'm getting here from these cards. Someone is resting, recovering, not much action, no talking. Eight of Pentacles. I, I feel like this is, uh, someone doesn't feel like there's going to be put any effort. There's a lot here going on with the Eight of Pentacles. There's uh, a lot at stake. It can be regarding a work situation, a lot of effort. Financial for some of them, it's because maybe the feeling is because, again, someone has not provided here, has not put a lot of effort. Definitely they want to get out though. Because remember, we have to remember the position is feelings. Um, To me, it's, it's I want to get out of this situation. I want to put a lot of work. Uh, I, I want to build something. That's what they're hoping for. Long term. Yeah, the action they're balancing. They're not sure. That's the action towards you. Going back and forth, contemplating here, what is my next step? 
very passive very 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 passive energy for this two options negotiating here I, i'm getting uh, i'm not they have not decided they're not sure which way to go so here we have how they view you someone when it comes to communication here again that guarded energy that very much resilient but protective when it comes to taking action you don't want to rush and they know that you're not going to rush here because of what has happened this can be some damage damage control here because maybe things went too fast or maybe because there's a, a certain communication here with eight of wands we are always talking about this energy impulsive energy is mercury in sagittarius here with mercury in sagittarius whatever i i think of the decision I, i'll go with it it's very impulsive and i'm getting that someone because of that now they're careful here they don't want to rush though the fire is there wow so the challenge here is someone has a wish fulfillment the desire that obsessive but i feel it's because again if it's not a reconciliation here that someone is not accepting it's because someone here is in another relationship already because it is in a position uh, in a hard position it's in a challenge position so when i have it in a challenge position though these cards are very positive i feel like the challenge here is this wish fulfillment the reconciliation going here with what my heart wants we have another mercury but it's in water now more sensitive so there's a challenge someone very much wants to be with you but there's other situation or there's other people involved wow there goes the nine of swords they love this about you though that they're overthinking that they have this attraction that they cannot understand but it they they, they cannot stop thinking of how they feel towards you why they have this pull towards you with the lovers it's, it's bothering them but at the same time they love it because again i feel like it kind of tells them in this case that this is what i want this is who i want to be with are you obsessing over them and they think that all right so this is what they're hoping for we're getting the sun in capricorn and the virgo energy here again someone is is not going to let go that's that's what with this possessive energy here whatever has happened even if you guys are not talking here and going on your own way i feel like there's still going to be this not giving up with the four of pentacles that, that's what i'm getting with this energy i think this person um uh, though the desires is there i i don't think that they're willing here to move forward um libra they're very much worried now about their own security their own uh, their own structure their own goals okay wow this is what they don't love best about you or they're having a hard time there goes the devil by the way remember i got this twice you let go of this situation or someone is not unable to The only thing that throws me off, I don't like that they have this as their hopes. Again, if you have gone hermit mode, they're hoping that finally someone will come back here and willing to work, willing to, to put here a security, home, create a, a, you know, a, a safe environment here. Hold on to those values. But I see here what they don't like, that they, I feel like the devil is very much stuck, uh, stuck here, trapped energy. And... Um, eight of cups to me it's just wanting to move on so I, i'm getting with this combination here that someone has had a hard time when it comes uh, to leave the codependency here i want to see this king of pentacles All right this is what they would like to confess king of pentacles here with the queen of wands very much bold charismatic my own way with this energy this there's there's a there's a relationship here and for some of you again i feel like there's someone is juggling so someone has to leave again or they're in a codependent or they're in an unhealthy relationship because this does not look good that's what they would like to confess 
is this you how they feel towards you are they very much attractive the king of pentacles is attracted to to the queen of wands there's this passionate side to her all right you guys have unfinished business both of you are thinking of one another both of you want closure both of you uh want to come in together this is mutually so that's why i feel like they uh, if you guys have been going here ghosting one another or there's other people involved there's unfinished business between the two of you all right the best possible outcome we have the ace of wands is very much about chemistry here but this connection is though it's very tempting whatever it's going to be different scenarios for you guys because it is general reading for some of you it may be that third party situation some of you it may be a friend here and you don't want to uh, because of work situation you don't want to risk it this to me is am i willing to risk it because of this passion because of this chemistry that i have because the chemistry is there like when i get the devil so many times and the nine of cups here queen of wands is very much the passionate here we are talking that they, you are very guarded they are contemplating here will this person be interesting or not uh in, to me if i make here a proposal so to me looking at the best possible outcome and looking that both of you want this connection want this closure want to reach out to recognize it in the end it's what i'm going to be able to, uh, to do it's going to be very much hidden here but this is chemistry to me it's chemistry and it's very much conflicted here because of the surrounding uh, situation all right, Libra, this was a general reading. I hope it does resonate with you guys. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.